The Paul is dead myth is among the most bizarre conspiracy theories in music, and maybe the entire globe. The facts have been totally annihilated as a result of the spread of false information, considering how absurd the assertion is. One thing, though, has been constant throughout, where the hypothesis came from. Paul McCartney's pronouncement of death in 1969 following a car incident in 1966 brought this to light. This day marks the beginning of a conspiracy that continues to receive a great deal of attention, the widespread dissemination of false reports regarding McCartney's death. The tale shocked the globe in 1969 when it was published in American and British newspapers. The world quickly returned to its peaceful state when the accusations were proven to be unfounded. However, there are many who refuse to let go of the original, McCartney, and his conspiracy theories. This argument is based on the rumor that McCartney died in a vehicle crash in Scotland in 1966. Speculation circulated after the accident that, in an effort to quell the global fan revolt, the Beatles had substituted McCartney with a look-alike. According to the latest reports, McCartney and his girlfriend were on a holiday in Kenya when the tragedy occurred. The Paul is dead idea first surfaced later that year, and it was McCartney's purported accident that sparked it. Nevertheless, the notion did not begin to propagate and garner widespread notice until 1969, a full three years later. One publication, the Drake Times Delphic, was responsible for it all. That a hypothesis of this significance could have its origins in a little school in Iowa is unbelievable. Is Beatle Paul McCartney dead? Was the subject of an article written by Drake student Tim Harper on September 17, 1969. The essay raised several interesting points about hidden meanings in the Beatles' music and album artwork. People all across the world began to believe the hypothesis when Harper's piece caused a global frenzy. According to the Paul McCartney Project, Beatles press officer Derek Taylor commented on the matter, saying, Recently we've been getting a flood of inquiries asking about reports that Paul is dead, and that, in the past few weeks, we've been getting them at the office and home night and day. This was in response to the matter's skyrocketing popularity. It seems unbelievable to think that this massive conspiracy idea was initiated by a college student who loved music. Having said that, this is where most hypotheses of this kind begin, so it's not completely unbelievable. Still, the Paul is dead hypothesis exemplifies the dangers of spreading false information. This essay has served to both establish that McCartney is alive and perhaps warn readers to exercise caution when reading certain claims.